Okay, let's get started with the Benina software. Whether you have the creator level or the designer plus level, when you open the software by default, you will be taken to this home screen. And there's lots of buttons on here and things. So let's have a quick look at what's available. I'll start with the open recent because I've got a lot of recent designs on here. You won't have anything the first time you open it. But if you've been working on a design, um, the first 12, the last 12 designs you worked on will show up here. So you can click on any of these icons to go straight to that design in the embroidery canvas. If you see a red cross like I've got here, that means that you've moved the design from the original location it was saved to, so the link doesn't work anymore. Um, and I do move my designs around a lot, so that's why I've got so many red crosses. But if you just save a design to a location, it will open that design. You will have an icon here to open that design. Above that, you've got new design, which will open up Embroidery Canvas for you to create a new design. Or you can open a design using File Explorer. So you can search your computer for a design and open that. I'll go over these later on in a bit more detail. Up here on the left, you've got Embroidery Canvas. Now, you would think that opening a new design or going straight to Embroidery Canvas would be the same thing. And generally, um, when you haven't made a design, yes, they would be. You can either use the Embroidery Canvas button or the New Design button. But if you are working on a design and you want to come back to this home page for whatever reason and then go back to that same design you were working on, you would use that Embroidery Canvas button, um, which will take you back to the design you are working on rather than opening a new design. The button below is Embroidery Library. Now, Bonina Software has a library full of free designs. There are more in the Designer Plus option, but there's still quite a number of free designs in the Embroidery Library. But it's more than just a, um, a library of designs. It is a place where you can sort and manage all your designs. And I'm going to go into detail about that as well. You've got the home page here, which will bring you back to this view of the home page. So um, there are a few things you can go to and look at um, on the home page, and that will take you away from this main screen here um, to another screen. But to get back to this beginning screen, you just click on the home button. The next button down is very, very helpful. It's your tutorials button. So I'm going to click on that now and that will change this main screen as I explained. Um, and it will show a lot of video tutorials. Now, by default, it shows tutorials of all things to do with embroidery. So you will see um, cleaning and oiling of the Benina multi-needle machine. You'll see, um, oh, what else? What is differential feed, etc. Um, so it's quite a broad range and a lot to search through to find what you're looking for. But because we're in embroidery software, it's more likely that we want to just look at um, tutorials on embroidery. So to do that, we come up here to the Featured Tutorials button and just left click on that and that will filter out all the embroidery tutorials. So we now have all sorts of tutorials on the software. Um, and these are really valuable. They'll tell you what functions do and they show it in a video format which is really easy to follow. So there is um, a video on Embroidery Library. So um, overview of Embroidery Library, navigation page, manage your designs. So those three um, 
videos alone are going to teach you how to use the embroidery library. So rather than me go through in great detail about the embroidery library in this course, I'm going to direct you to watch these videos. So when we get to that, you can come and watch those. And same with other um, techniques I'm going to show you. Um, I want to take you a step further than just what's available in the software already. But I will point you to um, relevant videos in the software that you can watch as well. So that will give you uh, more bang for your buck, so to speak, if I take you that step further. Um, so if you have plenty of time, you can just watch these at your leisure or you can wait till you need to know something and then look it up. So at the top of the screen, you have a search all tutorials. So you can put a keyword in there and see if that will filter out a tutorial specifically on that um, topic that you're looking for. You can, instead of having these as um, icons of the videos or thumbnails of the videos, you can click on the list view and that will actually, um, rather than a grid, it will be um, in a list order and give you a bit more information about each video. Or you can go back to the grid, which just gives you the title plus um, the thumbnail of the video. You can favourite videos. So if you have... Um, a video you want to come back to often, you can favourite it. And you can also sort by the date added. I'm not sure how useful that will be initially, but that may be of some use. But certainly this search um, tutorials will be useful. Okay, under tutorials you've got my profile. Now this is where your, your information is all located. So if you click on that, you will get a screen come up that has all your details, your uh, name, your country, and there, mine's just populated now. So um, it does take a little while to populate, and that depends on your internet connection. So um, if you're not connected to the internet when you're using the software, that may not come up um, with a populated, um, with the populated information. So on that note, generally speaking, if you can be connected to the internet when using the software, it will run smoother and faster, but you don't have to be connected to the internet to use it um, for all functions. Some functions you will need to be connected to the internet, but actual digitizing you won't need to be. Um, so you fill this out when you actually register your software. So that will populate here. Then that's your profile. Then up here you can change your email or change your password if ever you need to. So you've got those there. Then you've got active sessions. So if you click on that, that will actually show you how many installations you have on different computers. And we can have um, up to three installations at any one time. Um, and over here you've got, an, I'm actually on my desktop at the moment, so I can't end the session while I'm in the software, obviously. But if I wanted to remove the, the, soft, uh, the registration from my laptop so that I could put it on, a, uh, if I needed to put it on another computer, or if my laptop, uh, I was going to uninstall it from my laptop for whatever reason, or my laptop didn't work anymore, I can end the session from my desktop just here. So this is very easy to, easy to do, which um, has streamlined the whole um, process from past versions. And then the last option here is your preferences. So you can be using um, promotional, um, do you want to um, take, do you want to allow the software to collect data from your, your usage for um, promote or uh, promotional purposes, um, customer experience improvement program, and do you want to get the Benina newsletter emailed to you or not? So you can turn those on and off here with these buttons. So that's all good. Um, that's all neat and handy in your profile. The last button you do need to be connected to the internet for, and that is the help button. This will take you to the online help, so it will open in your browser. So if you click on that, there we go. It's opened up the help, and you've got all sorts of ways of searching here. Alphabetically, um, where we go filter by terms, 
filter by keywords um, or you can um, actually go through the topics here um, and expand those out so it's basically an index here you can go through the index and find what you're looking for this will be very up to date because it is online it's going to be the first port of call for updates um, you can also download the reference manual here um, to either print or just view on screen so you don't need to go into right into the software to see the reference manuals you can also view them from the software um, at any time but if you're in the help you can go to those and release notes and also the reference manual for the cross stitch and quilting so I actually downloaded um, an on-screen version and saved it so that I can have it on my desktop so I don't need to open the software to refer to the manual so that may be of help to you as well entirely up to you if you've finished browsing here for any information you are looking for you can just close your browser because actually as I said it's opened up in your browser your web browser so just come up to your Red Cross and close that and your software was was open underneath it okay let's go back I'll just show you how this home button works so now if I click on the home button it will take me back to this original screen again as I mentioned before over on the right we can click here to download um, the mastery workbooks which are quite useful um, that's another resource for you to learn more about the software so I advise that you probably do that and read those mastery workbooks they'll be in PDF format as well and you get those from the website so again you need to be connected to the to the internet to be able to use these tools on the right hand side the webinars um, well at least in Australia I'm not having much success with that linking me to any webinars at this present time so um, but it may um, become more useful in later later on who uh, if they do produce some webinars and have a link to them so um, I think this will just take you to the Benina website as well um, below that we've got an embroidery designs workshop so you can actually um, purchase designs through um, the shop here and then below that is another very useful button skill builder lessons so these are extra lessons on the internet on the Benina website that you can access and teach yourself um, more about the software actually do the exercises lessons and have an outcome with a design at the end of it so if you click there you can access those Below that is the Benina blog, so if you want to follow the blog for tips, tricks, ideas and freebies, then that's the button to press. And of course, you, if you follow the blog, you will be able to um, get notification of, of new posts and so forth there. So this is a very useful screen and I'm really glad they added it. You don't have to come here every time you open the software, but I recommend if you're a beginner to leave this as the default home screen. So that means do nothing about it um, because it will remind you that all these resources are available.